Hello, I'm Patty Simpson with Simpson Math. Recall that in statistics, we have some question that we'd like answered. And so we go out and we collect data and that data then helps us to answer our question. When we collect our data, we would love to be able to get it from our entire group of interest or from the entire population. But collecting data from the whole population requires time and money and resources. And a lot of times that's unavailable. So instead what we do is we just collect data from part of the population or from a sample of that population. Here we're going to look at different methods for collecting data from a sample, different methods for um, finding a sample, different sample methods. And the first one we're gonna look at is a convenience sample. A convenience sample is just as the name implies, it's convenient, it's easy, it's cheap, it's quick, it's nice and convenient. So that's the, where it gets its name from. And you've been involved with convenience samples lots of times, whether you've realized it or not, because they are just so quick and easy. So that's one of the advantages of a um, convenience sample is that it's quick and easy and requires little um, resources. And it's collected because of the ease and the accessibility to the data. So for instance, you walk into Subway and at the end they hand you a receipt and they say, here, call this number and let us know how we're doing. If you've ever called one of those numbers at Subway or Schlotsky's or whatever your favorite restaurant is, then you've been part of a convenient sample. That's just a nice convenient way for the, um, for the company to get information and it's cheap. They can just have a computer set up for you to enter your, your data into it. Uh, or maybe they have one person answering the phone to, to um, collect your data. It's nice and cheap and you volunteered to collect, to provide that data to them. Uh, some other examples of just that convenience sample. If you've ever been walking down the sidewalk and somebody pulled you off the street to ask you questions or a survey, you've been part of a convenience sample. So convenience sample is just that. It's nice and simple and easy and convenient. Maybe you go around and you ask your, your, the first five friends that you see some information because you want to answer some question, you want to collect some data. Asking those first few people you see, that's nice and convenient and quick and easy. So all those are examples of convenience samples. The disadvantage to a convenience sample is the fact that it might not represent the entire population. Maybe the people who volunteer, maybe the people who call in to Subway or Slotsky's have a certain characteristic that causes them to call, to call in. Like for instance, maybe the reason you're calling in is because you had a horrible experience. Man, they didn't even talk to you for the first five minutes that you walked in the store. So when you got that receipt, you were like, oh yeah, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna let them know how they're doing. Or maybe your girlfriend works at the store. And so you're like, I'm gonna call and give her a good review. Or maybe you got a really, really good review. Uh, bit of service and so therefore you want to call to let them know hey this was a great service so I bet on those um, surveys you get people who had really bad service and really good service and maybe sometimes not so much in between I don't know I haven't looked at their data but you can see that the when they volunteer to call in they may have some certain characteristic that may cause them to do something like volunteer or maybe as you're walking down the street and somebody pulls you over to survey you, maybe you have some characteristic that makes you be chosen or um, you have some characteristic in you that makes you go talk to the surveyor that's different from the rest of the population. So sometimes our um, convenience samples are not really representative of our entire population. So that's a downfall. It, causes more statistical bias. Remember that statistical bias means it's just um, our, our, stat, our statistics end up not being the same as our parameter. 
and it might be because our sample is not like the rest of our population. Let's look at a couple of examples of the convenience sample. A country radio wants to find the average age and gender of listeners. The station chooses one weekday morning to ask listeners to call in for a contest where the winning win winner wins a free manicure pedicure at a local spa. When the listeners call in the station, the station asks their gender and age to collect data. So the winner wins a free manicure pedicure. So notice how the station's not having to do much. They have somebody manning the phone to ask them what's your gender and what's your age. But otherwise, the callers themselves are doing the work they're calling in. But also notice that this sample might not be like the rest of their population. For instance, maybe people who call in on a weekday morning are different from the rest of their population. So, you know, first of all, their population are all of their listeners. Maybe by having them call in on a weekday morning, you're getting old people who are just sitting around with nothing better to do listening to the radio. Or maybe you're getting a certain population that's working and so they're, they've got radio playing in their workplace. Um, maybe you're missing out on all the young people that listen to your radio station because they're all at school. Then it tells you that the winner is going to win a manicure pedicure. Maybe the people who call in are really interested in this manicure pedicure and so they're not like the rest of the population because that's what they're really interested in. So you can see that we might not get a sample that's representative of the whole population, even though this is a quick and easy way to collect our data. If the radio station wanted to get something that was more representative of the entire population, they might want to do something like do the uh, contest at various times throughout the day, not just in the morning, but also in the afternoon, also in the evening, also in the middle of the night, various days throughout the weekday to make sure that they're hitting all the different um, times of the day. They may want to vary their, their prizes up so that they're hitting a wide swath of their population to make sure that they get more representative population. So it could still be that convenience sample in that the person calls in and they just have one person answering the phone, but they could make it more representative of the entire population. Here's another example. The student government at a community college has money to spend on either equipment for the soccer club or plants for the science club's butterfly garden. The student government conducts a survey of students by standing outside the gym and stopping students to ask their opinion. Again, they're just standing on the street and asking people who come up. So that volunteer system, it's nice and easy, nice and, and cheap. You just have to have a couple of people out there doing it. So, but again, this might not be representative of the entire population. Like what time of day are they standing out there? Maybe you get a certain um, bit of the population because of the time of day. And where are they standing? Well, they chose to stand outside the gym. So maybe they get more people who are interested in soccer equipment than they would for the butterfly garden. So you have to, this is a nice convenient sample, but if you want to reduce that statistical bias, if you want to make the, the sample more representative of the entire population, you should do things like have somebody out there at multiple days, multiple times of the day, and then at various places around that community college. But you can see how in both of those situations, it's just convenient, nice and easy. First five people I see, I'm gonna look at data that from the first 10 papers that I have, something like that, where it's just nice and easy. Math made simple at Simpson Math. Thanks for watching.